Hello there people, it's Devo here, and I want to start a new series on this channel called Devo's Reviews. And basically it will be just me giving a review about a new old game that someone else suggests. And the first one that I want to start it off with is Yoshi's Crafted World, the newest part of the Mario gaming industry. But before I start, I just want to say this is all my opinion. Which means I don't want everybody else to get butt hurt whenever I say something that they don't agree with. Because it's just my opinion. But anyways, Yoshi's Craft World is about bitch ass baby Bowser and his, and his wizard minion wanting the dream gems that the Yoshis have on their own little island. I, I forgot what the hell it's called. What, whatever the island is. And the whole game you're going around trying to get the smiley flowers so that you can be like hey little box man get the fuck out my way it's definitely a game geared towards kids between like 8 and 12 years old that usually play puzzle games but I think that we can all still have fun through it even if we are older once you start playing the game You'll get into maps that really don't seem like they have a lot in common with each other. Which can be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it. On one hand, they are making the maps constant. So you're constantly having new challenges that you didn't have in the old map. But on the other hand, it was kind of hard in my opinion for the creators to build on top of their old their old challenges that they put in the last map. So it made it a little bit harder to make the game actually challenging to the gamer. Not to say that going through the game it's not constantly getting harder, but as time goes on they could have added some more challenge to the older players. Throughout each one of these maps that I'm talking about, you still have the old way of getting coins as you run throughout the map which afterwards you can use on these toy machines that look like gumball machines that you can collect outfits throughout the whole game and let me tell you some of them can make Yoshi look fabulous okay just fabulous like fall line everything like you can either be the dreaded or amazing bullet bill that we all love and hate depending on what place you're in in Mario Kart. Or you can be my favorite, you can be a snake. In all, it took me about 8 hours to complete, well not complete, to get to the credits. But the creators do give you good reason for going back and replaying all these other maps other than just for the perfect run through it. Like they give you scavenger hunts that the real box people that I was talking about can be like, hey, I want this hut. Can you go find me this hut? Because I cannot live without this souvenir of a hut. <laughs> or, or you can go back and find Poochie's little adorable pups that somehow continue to get lost on every single map they visit for whatever reason. But while you're trying to find them, You'll go backwards and see everything from the completely opposite view of whatever you've seen it for the first time. I haven't personally gone back to do all these things, and I'm not sure if the scavenger hunt type of thing that I was talking about is a constant keep on giving you new things to look for throughout the map or not, but I would think that it would easily double the time that you would have playing this game. In all, I give this game about a 6 out of 10, and some of that is just because for some reason every time you meet up with Baby Bowser and Kamek, he has a new, what you would think would be an insulting name to call his prince Baby Bowser. It was a good game, but eventually it was like the map creators just started kind of reusing the same maps and then adjusting them for whatever they wanted this map to be because it got just kept on getting redundant also the skill level needed to complete the game was very minimal again it's probably because of it's made for a younger audience 
but still, I, f I picked the hardest level on the game, and I feel like it should have took me more of a challenge to complete the game. And in my opinion, they should have had a way to go one step further for the average older gamer that wanted to go out and buy this game. But that's all I really have to say about this one. And that's mainly because I don't want to spoil anything for people who do want to go out and get this game. But if you like the video, please go to Scribble. And if you have any more games that you want me to do that's coming out or that's already out and you just want me to do this, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get to that game later. Thank you.